Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Since when do you sleep in? What? Where is this I? a flashback? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season three, episode five of She-Ra, Remember. It was pretty bad at the end of last episode. Yeah, they really left us on quite the cliffhanger that we're not used to in this show. Yeah, you know, I mean, how can you get used to uh, the entire world potentially being destroyed? Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, so uh, Catra really... Screwed the pooch. Yeah, they pulled that lever... She's cemented herself as the villain, though. Montana's still not convinced. Uh, <laughs> she's the villain, but it's not her fault that she's the villain. Uh-huh. Leave me alone. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. Let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below if you're excited for episode five. And check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see the extended version of this episode and episode six. That's the final episode of season three posted to Patreon now. All right. Are we excited for the penultimate episode of season three of She-Ra? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Pull the switch. Let's end this. Yikes. So are they out of Despondos now? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Since when do you sleep in? What? Where Is this I? a flashback? How did I get here? What? Uh, you're in your room. Are you okay? I... I'm fine. I was just having if they a hit us dream. with a, it was all a dream. I needed to fix. Of course you dream about work. There's nothing to fix, Adora. Everything's perfect. Yeah. It was just a dream. Come um, on. Up. Um What is happening? Adora. What? Did they like erase her memory or something? I don't know. All right. Let's get started. Interesting cinematography of this episode. Yeah. What is happening? They're all faceless. You, the invasion of Daymore went perfectly. You're the hero of the hour. Daymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I defeated the rebel insurgents at Daymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is that. blowing oh, my please. mind. Please, you couldn't have done it without me. It has to be a flashback. Right. Well, no, this is an alternate me? reality. <laughs> Because that didn't happen last Watch time. Last time she fought against the rebellion. Mm -hmm. That's where she found I didn't know you were the horses. I'm so sorry. You'd better be. Dismissed. <laughs> oh, first captain. Don't hurt me. Ah. We only really got one episode of this dynamic. Again? To the locker room. There's something I want to show you. Then why are we going the makes me way sad. around? Let's take yeah. the side door, right? What? No. It's always been this way. It's a simulation. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Do you have a concussion or something? Not get hit on the head a lot, but I figured your dumb little hair poof would cushion the blow. I'm oh, fine, okay? Don't make this me is kick cute. your butt. As if you could. <laughs> Don't fight. <laughs> uh. What is Kyle. this? Are those ration bars? We wouldn't have been able to defeat the rebels at Thaymore without you. You were the one who talked Shadow Weaver into letting us come. So we all pitched in, took Kyle's ration bars for a week, and made this. <laughs> I'm hungry, but celebrating your victory is worth it. You guys, you even got the gray kind. Way better than the brown kind. Hey, it was Captain's idea. Oh, yeah? Ration bars. Eh, whatever, don't make a big deal about oh, it. Oh, I forgot oh, about the scene where she ate all the you food. like mm -hmm. me. That it's so <laughs> embarrassing Ow. for you. Stop it. <laughs> Um, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, Kyle. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we gotta we gotta discuss this with thoughts. I wish they could just be like this. But on the rebels, you know? Why couldn't Catra just go with Adora? She really could have. And, and it all would have been fine. Everything just would have been fine. Like it literally like <sighs> This is just sad because it shows what could have been and Catra seems so much happier. Yeah. Well, you know, this kind of explains why she hated Adora so much when she left. Exactly. Was, she was legit her only happiness. Mm -hmm. We each get one guess. What is happening right now? Alternate reality. Okay. I think maybe they went through the portal, got captured by Horde or some Horde Prime or somebody, like some villain or somebody, and it, they're in like pods with 
fake memories being shown in their mind or something. They're trying to brainwash her to actually still work for the Horde. And they really said, you know how we convince her? Get Catra to flirt with her. <laughs> Would work for me. Yeah. Would it? Could Catra gaslight me? Yes. Oh. Adora. Got something right there. <laughs> Adora, get off the floor. So somebody's trying you to contact her. Captain who sat mm -hmm. Thaymo. Sorry, Shadow Weaver. And you. Look at you. You're a mess. Go get um, yourself cleaned up. Um, You're no longer children. I have high hopes for you both. Do not waste your time on such foolish games. That's, That's how Adora's gonna know this is fake. Mm -hmm. Adora, come with me. This happened last time. Really bad vibes. Where they went on the walk. I will admit, exact I did same not scene. think that Catra and the others were ready to be deployed. But under your command, they performed admirably. You are becoming every bit the leader I always knew you to be. Thank you, Shadow Weaver. I couldn't have done it without them. Oh. Suffice it to say, Hordak is impressed with your performance. He is rewarding you with a new mission. Really? You'll get the rest of the details at briefing. Look at it, Adora. This is who you are. The Force Captain who will lead the Horde of victory. It's what you've always dreamed of. It's Everything is perfect. But I did. Raz. What did you just say? Did you I see said, that? Yeah. Are you ready for the briefing? Raz. I've been waiting for Raz to come Don't back. Keep the sergeant mm -hmm. waiting. Something's off. Well, something's up. No shit. Okay. Hi, In new news, Scorpia. water is wet. Oh, hey, Adora. Scorpia. All right. Sassy. You know, I don't know what it is, but I do not like you. It's oh. just like this gut feeling I have. Maybe it's that little poof thing you do with your hair, or how much it draws attention to your giant. How many times has Scorpio ever? No, uh, okay, everyone lay off my hair today. Montana is now canonically Adora. <laughs> they gotta have some room for all this brain. <laughs> yeah, a little landing strip. Exactly. Yeah. This is what we call walking a tightrope, people. Mm-hmm. It's um, called a five head. Yes. So Scorpia, Miss Positivity, is now not not here for not here for Adora in this situation. Seems like she's in like the upside down right now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. name is Adora anyway. Okay, I get it. Everyone loves you, but I do not. Welcome, Force <laughs> Captains. Oh, it's After Force the Captain Orientation. Execution of our mission in Thaymor. <laughs> the Horde is now in a better position than ever to take the rest of Etheria. And here's our next target: the Selenius Seagate, separating Horde territory from Rebel. We have a week to play. Who's trying to communicate with her? Now, Mara. Possible might have to go face to face with a princess. Probably completely devoid of conscience. But it's possible to take them out. Something's happening. Okay, that was a really dumb comment, but. Forest Captain Adora, you have something to say? Where's the screen? There's no screen. All the information should be in your report. Okay, this Force is Captain. terrifying. This is really Okay, the memories are coming back at least. That's scary though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Adora? Adora! What is wrong? Did yeah, it's, a, it's gotta be a simulation. Did I write a blank piece of paper? I'm gonna go with no. No, there was something something there, I think. And then I was running. Why was I running? Okay, calm down. Oh. I can't calm down. There's something I keep forgetting. There's something I kept I'm supposed to fix. I remember a sword, a bright light, and then, uh, Whoa. Ow! What was that? Sorry! You were freaking out and it was freaking me out! You didn't have to slap me! Come on, let's get you outside. You need some air. No, Catra! I don't think the fright air. zone has exactly fresh air. Yeah, I'm just what is that planet? Is Wait, good. moon's in the sky! Like we always do. Don't you remember? I don't know what's happening to me. I wonder if they see stars. Like I'm losing my mind. Because we haven't seen stars this relax. entire time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh, and she smirked right. too. Everything's Yikes. perfect. Soon the two of us are gonna be ruling Etheria together, just like we always planned. They're really redoing the first episode all Does the way through. Really want to rule the world? I mean, yeah, obviously. Isn't that what she wants too? No, she wants acceptance. I don't know. Don't flake out on me now. This is what we always wanted. Everything will be perfect as long as we stay together. What if we don't stay together? What if it all goes wrong? What is Why can't you see that? Adora, stay with me, okay? You're just seeing things. It's all in your head. Adora! Thought we'd find you up there. Down here? We got big news. 
Okay, just okay. We teleporting just got around. Word. We're being instantaneous tonight. Uh, they said at the briefing that not for another week. So we're getting some errors in this it's simulation. Been a week. Yeah. No. The door. Huh? I know this wrong. Can't you see it? My memories don't match. We're jumping around. Think it's like time and space aren't working right. And I. A door. Stop it. Stop. Uh. Mara. Portal. I, okay. I remember, none of this is right. Not supposed to be here. Dora, Maybe Raz is trying to break that. her out. This isn't right. Everyone keeps telling me everything is perfect, but it's not. Everyone except Scorpia. Dora. Scorpia. Yeah, that's dying. true. She's the only one who's been negative. Mm -hmm. What do you? Okay. You what do you think this means? To be totally honest, I don't know. You're just kind of lost. I'm here very a bit. confused. You know what? Right Let's now. just go along for the ride for a bit. Personal space? I happen to take it very seriously. And also, what are you talking about? <laughs> Reverse. They start Scorpia. Yeah. You must feel it too. I'm not sure why yet, but I'm starting to remember. I need to get into Hordex Sanctum and you need to help me. Hordex Sanctum. No one is allowed in there without express permission. Are you sure you're qualified to be a force captain? All of my memory stop in Hordex Sanctum. There's something in there. That's where it all started. I totally hear you. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh. I think I know some nice people who can help oh. if you do me. Knock her out. You have to oh. remember something. Thing. Even Catra is Catra. Are they all oh. being forced to? No oh, they're all in a simulation. Oh, but they've all had their memories she... altered. Yeah. She's just scared. Yeah. See, she did. That was it. Forgetting thing. This is all wrong. So now they're How on a team. Don't know. I just know we have to go to Hortex. How did we get here? Just go with it, okay? Okay. Well, at least she's not alone. Yeah. Just being in this by yourself. You okay, feel them crazy. teaming up. <laughs> Gotta think a slap fight with a scorpion wouldn't go well. Yeah, fair enough. Could it even be slapping with those claws? Yeah, I think it'd just be slicing. <laughs> You need to focus. None of that matters. Like her design is so cool. Like the back, like way it, like. I'm obsessed. Uh, yeah. Wasn't there I also love that it's Dina's voice ago. from Superstore. Yeah. Things are disappearing. Force captain's hurry, like the equivalent of regional manager. There. There's Assistant Raz. regional manager. <laughs> Assistant to the, the regional manager. Wow. Come on, I'm gonna follow you because I don't see a lot of other options. <laughs> Scorpio saying what we're all thinking Absolutely right now. Absolutely the most relatable character in this show. Well, that well, Adora. Yeah, Adora for me. But It is uncanny how much Adora is a lot like you. Kind of freaks me out. It's kind of a drawing of you. Yeah. You have better cheekbones, but that's that's about it. Stop it. Yeah. Well, they made it to Sanctum. Is okay. Everyone so fast. <laughs> this is it. And there's no sword there. This works. And then you can there was a sword me. being held Look, by that claw thing. You get us out of this? I promise I won't hate you. I will just dislike you a reasonable amount. Deal. That's fair. No, oh, this can't be right. It was mm -hmm. right here. Where is it? Definition of the smirk it of doom Catra. from Catra. Catra did this. She took the sword. She activated the portal. There's supposed to be a sword, but it's gone. It's in the portal. We need to find it. Quick, hide. Oh shit, is it one of those goblins? Yeah, probably. Or Horde. Or Hordak. Is it Horde Prime? Is that why he's in the dark right now? Ah, uh, that's a different energy. No, that really? might be Hordak. Really? Then I think that that's just Hordak. regular yeah. Hordak. I love how Hordak has struck at one of our main characters one time and it mm. got deflected. Ew. Goblin baby. An ugly motherfucker. Whoa. Oh, oh no. no, where did Scorpia go? Scorpia. Reduced to atoms. Scorpia! They said atoms. <laughs> Reduced to Now they're all atoms. Bunch of people named Adam. Oh, gotta um, say, the animation of this episode is really stunning. Scary, but yes. Raz, okay, Raz, thank God. On. Follow Raz, please. Are we gonna get a razzle dazzle? Who are you? Why do I know you? What are you doing in the fright zone? Is this real? I'm afraid so, dearie. But you can still fix it. There's still time. She's gonna go to the we woods. To get out of here. Mm -hmm. Where are Kyle and Rogelio? Who? Our teammates. We were kids. Where are they? I, I don't remember. I think 
I think they're gone. You know what? I think everybody's being put in a simulation and they're all going to team up to get out of it. Interesting. They're all having their memories altered? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By who is the question? It's interesting that it's constantly changing, right? That there wasn't just like a blank slate for all of them, but it's like rotating. Yeah. It's as if it's like an AI that's trying exactly. to adapt. Yeah. We have to... No more Lonnie. The hair poof. You love the hair poof. What? Who are these Who are boys? You? Hey, you've officially lost it, haven't you? Listen, we have to go now. Scorpio, Lonnie, Kyle, Rogelio, they're all gone. What are you talking about? Who's gone? Gone. There's nothing left, and we'll be next if we don't get out of here right now. Ugh, you're not making any sense. Everything's fine, okay? It's don't say it's perfect. I know it's crossed not perfect, arms. And so she's do not you. feeling well. Mm. Yep. Oh, now she so she's in the simulation too. They all are. What you is happening? Crazy. I'm not going anywhere. Catra. Shocker. A little reversal there. Yeah. Oh, and she's taking Catra with her. She still cares about her. Yeah. Okay, you can't run away from that. You can try. On the speeder. She's going to the woods. The speeder. What? What? Is that what it's called? She hasn't seen Star Wars. She doesn't oh. understand. I've seen one Star War. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. I'm out of here. Can't see one Star War. Oh, but it's so fun. Oh, it's so fun. Anyway. Stinky. The fast speeder, or they call it a skiff. Same exact as the like first a episode. Ship? Yeah. That was real fear from Adora. Can we not do this? Yeah. And they're like, this is not again. the time. When this first came out, everybody must have been losing their minds. Yeah. or we'll be erased along with everything else. You think you can convince me by kidnapping me? What is wrong with you? Well, that's what Catra tried to do. Yeah. I won't leave you behind again. Why can't you just stay? We have everything we ever wanted. She said again and Catra didn't question it. I won't leave you behind again. Why can't you just stay? See? We have yeah. everything we ever wanted. It's not real, Catra. As much as I wish that things could be simple the way they used to be, there's no going back. <laughs> oh. Why did you do it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Wow. There's no time. You have to go. Tomorrow maybe had a point by closing them off. Oh. Okay. Okay. That was the turning point. Happen as long as we have each other. Promise? I promise. Everything will oh. be okay if just stay together. That was Catcher's turning point. You don't have to go back there. We fix this. Help me fix this. Please. I can't see this them as little babies. Oh no. Don't you get it? I am never going to go with you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you always have to go and ruin it, don't you? Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Um, she's really trying to do some damage. Claws are out. Yeah. Petra, look what's happening! You're going to destroy Somebody try it. Oh, never mind. I don't care. Yeah, she really I doesn't. I won't let you win. I'd rather see the whole world end than let that happen. Oh my gosh. Petra, no! Oh no. She's gonna just let go. It's a reversal of what happened in Promise. Oh my goodness. Well, she made it to the forest. All right, we need Raz. Oh, is that you, Mara? This is just really sad. It's sad. Yeah. Any, anything you want to say before we keep going? We got to discuss a little, a little crying here. Just a little sad. This show, you know, everybody said that this is the point where it starts getting really edgy and sad. Seeing them as kids, that uh, that just gets me. Oh, broken. every time. Oh, is that you, Mara? You made it after all. Raz. Madam Raz, it's been such a long time since we last saw each other, hasn't it? That's all. Oh, it hasn't happened yet. I always get those two things mixed up. She transcends <laughs> time and space. Mm -hmm. Not too late. You can still bring them back. You must act quickly. This has all happened before. 
Sure. I remember it like it was yesterday. For oh, Madame Raz, it was yesterday. This happened before. So she just, just Mara. doesn't have a concept yes. of time. She hmm. moved Etheria and took away the stars. Or maybe she's yeah. existed for so long that like no, years seem book. like seconds. Uh -huh. I've been so, so Mara did this before. Mm -hmm. Mara, destroying the world the way she did. And now she saved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Destroys the world. No. Mara saved the world, and so will you. You can't waste. So that confirms that the first ones are evil. Mm -hmm. You need to find the sword. That is the only way this will stop. I did that, didn't I? I went back to the fright zone. The portal wasn't there. No, that wasn't the beginning. You need to go back to the very beginning. I, I don't understand. That's all right, dearie. You don't need to understand. You just need to remember. Title of the episode. Great, that's really helpful. Yep. Not confusing at all. Shira. Wow. An entire planet's just dissipating? Yeah. How is she gonna outrun that? Like, she's fast, but... Is this really ha- Catra? Oh, oh. Corrupted Catra? Um, oh. Oh, boy. Kinda looks amazing, but whoa. Yeah. Okay. Two cliffhangers in a row? Wow. Really attack They're on really Titan They're really stepping here. it up. Yeah. Okay. So that was a fantastic episode. Yeah. Wow. That really, that elevated everything. Yeah. Okay. That's like a completely new plot line yeah. that they just introduced. Okay. Okay. Um, We're still kind of in the dark as to a lot of things. Yeah. Like why Scorpio was able to see through it immediately and nobody mm -hmm. else. Like there's so many, there's a lot to unpack. That was... We're just like, what even is happening? What is happening? Yeah. You know, what i really like it though like yeah it almost feels like they're resetting the show in a way mm -hmm. shall we just go ahead and head yeah. to the episode verdict yeah why not well all right where are we headed let's go to the episode verdict Thank you for watching that episode. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you had a good time or a horrible time, depending on your investment level in this story. And you're excited for episode six coming next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to go ahead and see uh, the finale of season three of uh, She-Ra, go ahead and check out the Patreon linked in the description below where it's posted. If you join the Patreon at any level, you can also ask us questions after every episode. For now, let's get to question one. My own zinger, two episodes in a row with a great question, asks, I think a lot of things point to this episode so being largely Catra's what if scenario. Dora gets Shadow Weaver to let her team come to the invasion. Shadow Weaver is nice to Catra. But if that's the case, why is she still second in command to Adora? Even in her ideal scenario, Catra is still second in command. Even though her whole thing since Adora left is being in charge. But that's not really what she wanted, clearly. Yep. I don't think Catra's ever known what she really wanted. I feel like not everyone wants to be in charge and the best and make all the calls, you know? There, like, there are a lot of people who would much rather be like the supporting role. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Like she, some people are better suited to be in that supporting role. Me. Montana is definitely the one who is like the captain of our team, and I'm definitely like the foot soldier, you know? I was gonna say the opposite, but... I'm sorry, you're the brain... <laughs> She, okay, here's a question. In the Linguini Ratatouille scenario, who's okay. really in charge? Because I'm definitely Linguini and she's definitely Ratatouille. I'm definitely, okay. Sorry, she's definitely Remy. Don't call me Ratatouille. I'm the rat. I think it just shows that in her dream situation, she and Adora are working together. And regardless of what that teamwork looks like, Adora has always been the one to kind of step up and take the initiative. And Katra's happy to support her in that. And then when she's gone, she tries to replace her and try to, you know, do exactly what Adora was doing and that, you know, really didn't work out well for her. But she was at her happiest when she was just with Adora and that was enough. I think that's a great way to end that question. Ready to go to question two? Yeah. All right. Mackenzels asks, in this episode, we see an alternate reality, which is rather close to what Catra would consider ideal. In this alternate reality, Scorpia says that she takes personal space very seriously. Thoughts on the relationship between Catra and Scorpia in light of that? That's really fascinating because at first I took it to mean that like we were in just in Bizarro World, that yeah. in, in Superman's uh, Bizarro World, essentially is just everything sort of upside down. Gotcha. I kind sense. of figured based yeah, on the name. But you're just media incompetent. So I need yeah. to 
should make sure. Homeschool girl over here. What can I say? Um, gotta be careful patting the head because of the beautiful hair. Um, but in light of that, I think that a lot of people retained their characteristics here were just put in a different scenario. Like they were the same chess pieces, just on a different board and in a different orientation. My thoughts on Catra and Scorpia's relationship in light of the fact that in this, she said she didn't like personal space. It goes to show you that she really likes Catra. Like she just wants to help her and give her all the love and care. Like she must have had this internal radar that went off when she met Catra that was like Scorpia and empath. I think she's not feeling well. And uh, I'm sensing that she's having a hard time. Yeah. So you see every time Scorpia is down, she'll like when she was on the boat and sad, she tried to swaddle her. When she lost Shadow Weaver, she literally wrapped her in a blanket and started cradling her. It, it goes to show that it's less of a Scorpia just being a touchy feely person and more of her being a comforter. Yeah. Really a fascinating detail there. What is happening here? Yeah. Um, that's going to be the last question. In light of what we've seen, I I'll ask this. What is happening? I don't know. You need more than that? That's it? That's you just don't know? Okay, We're like, a theory channel. That's a right, big brain. All right. Fire I'll it just, up. I'll just... You, you dissected Attack on Titan. All right. I'll just stream of conscious this shit. So as she starts recognizing the differences between her current reality and her memories, things start to kind of dissolve into this very eerie, like portal like way so i wonder if maybe the portal sent them to like another planet that's like mm. the same like a complete copy planet where just about everything is the same except for like the really like minuscule like interpersonal details mm -hmm. i would bet money that i am wrong but that is all i have in my head right now mm. so okay take it or leave it <laughs> it's kind of up in the air right now yeah it's confusing but i think that's a good place to leave it for now now, um, comment down below what you thought was happening initially, if it's not a spoiler. Uh, we'd lo love to hear it because they really left us in the dark. Um, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this episode and are excited for the finale of Season 3 coming next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see that episode in its full, uncut, extended form with like 5 to 10 extra minutes of footage and discussions and edits, check out the Patreon linked in the description below where you can also see the extended version of every episode we've done thus far. All right, I think that's about it. Are we excited for the finale of Season 3 of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Thank you.